and welcome to D Movie Den, the first episode, the inaugural episode. What? You didn't fucking tell me you're bringing a camera. I told you we were filming an episode of this. Did you think I was just gonna? It was. You, I don't even know where I'm going with this joke here, but you didn't tell me you were bringing a fucking camera. I didn't shave. I didn't wash my goddamn hair. What the hell? I this is your idea. Up. This is your idea, Gary. Jeez. Uh, First episode is already just uh, crap in the bed. Anyway, so I'm Wade. And I'm Gary. Yes, and uh, this is the first episode of the movie Den. Um, so this is an idea we've been doing for three months, for about three months planning. So here we go, we're finally here. And how we're going to do this show for future episodes, this one's going to be a little different. We are going to get a bunch of movies and put them in a hat, and then we're going to pick it. And we're yep. going to watch it, like, we're going to be cold turkey, we're just going to watch it. Yep. Like, we're not even going to be prepared for it, nothing. But since this is the first episode, we already pre-drew it. Yep. So, and that movie is... We're doing... Deadly Prey by David A. Pryor. And we watched the slasher, we're going to watch the slasher video version of Deadly Prey. So, I don't think we should keep on with this. Let's, let's pop this baby in. We'll see you soon. So, yeah, so, action! Hi. Could you pick anything with less shirtless men? Well, okay, so we're back, and, uh, <laughs> yes, this movie had a lot of shirtless men, mostly the Ted Pryor, mostly Ted Pryor. Uh, I don't know how to start this movie, but... Poor Ted. Poor, poor Ted. Running around the woods, barefoot, climbing on hot tanks, barefoot. You just see him wincing, just going like, hot, 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 out sticks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much, and basically David A. Pryor's like... You're the, you're my brother. Dance, monkey, it. dance! So it has a whip. As I, I assume he directs his brother with a whip. I, I assume that. You said you wanted to there's get rocks film. At him. Do it. Yeah, there's rocks <laughs> at him, but yeah. Whoa, that's, that was, this was a movie. I remember we had to check the time. Yeah, we, we started watching it, and we are just like, okay, this movie is... So many people have died. There's been like 40 people dead. Okay, this movie's like halfway done. Let's Has check the be. time. Has to be. 28 minutes. How much longer this movie we got? An hour. Oh my god. This movie's not close to done yet? What the oh hell? Oh god, this was... I'll say this. I've, I've sat through some terrible movies. This wasn't terrible. I'm not gonna say it now, this was not terrible. But it, was, it felt longer than it was. I've, I've, I have directed a terrible film. You have watched this terrible yes. film. And... This did not feel like 88 minutes. This felt like it was two hours. <laughs> two and a half, maybe. <laughs> I felt like I was watching Batman v Superman. No, not, not that bad. Um, I, I would know. say I would say it felt more like you know, Batman and Robin, for me. <laughs> Basically, this movie is has uh, Ted Pryor, or I'll just call it, his name is like Mike Denton. 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 I could not Denton. Get, Denton. Whatever they wanted to Dalton, call him. Denton. At times, I could not get the right name for him, so I just called him George Lynch because it looks like George Lynch from Dokken. Um, and then you have the Rod Stewart haircut. Yeah, so he's out with his, <laughs> I thought girlfriend, but later in the movie, they're like it's his wife, and like she, he's wearing he, he's wearing her shorts, and she has no name. He's just wife. That's what, that, not he is. Mrs. She is Dalton, just wife, Mrs. Denton. <laughs> uh, but then I, there's this military group, and they're like we got sleeveless man, um, tank top boy. Ta yeah, Tank Top Boy. We'll call him Tank Top Boy. Tank Top Boy, uh, Tank Top Girl. Um, you, you've got... You've there's got two African-American characters. Only two. You, you um, have the Colonel who was formerly... You have Colonel Hogan who used to be General Hogan. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What, what was he? Yeah. Is he a general? And, uh, he's, then, then you have Agent, you know, Michael Sinton. What was it? Michaelson. It's Michaelson. Yeah, it's uh, like Agent Michaelson. And so those are bad guys. So I'm glad that this movie had. It, it kind of follows the action movie where you have like the sub bosses before the big boss, I guess. Uh, but they weren't defined characters. They were just and like. It was just nonstop killing. Uh, apparently, it got to the point where the killing was boring. The, the, the killing got to the point where you felt like you were in a video game. Killing yeah. every it's single like a hack person. And slash. Yeah. It's like okay, you have to kill the same guy four times because they all have the same haircut. 
Oh my god, the haircuts. I know this was in the late 80s, but man, the haircuts were all the same. It's like, just put them through an assembly you line. You couldn't give haircut, someone it's a, like, a buzz cut? You had to give them the same hair. Oh, no, no. It's like, remember, this isn't the Army. This isn't the Navy. This isn't the this Air Force or the Marine Corps. Uh, Hogan did not, uh, or as I called, Sid Vicious. Uh, he did not, the wrestler Sid Vicious, not the bass player. Um... He, he, did, he would he would lose syllables. He every loses once a syllable. In a while. Like we're not the army. We're the we're not the nave. And then he, he says Mike Dent. No, it's like this is my style. It's like what do you mean your style? You do you have a killing style that only you know? <laughs> he has six grenades on his desk, guys. I mean, they it, got knocked over once, but you know. Oh my god, that that and it was all because of um, uh, oh, wife's dad, wife's dad, father-in-law. We'll call him father-in-law. Uh, yeah. Father-in-law with the, um, looks kind of like a Rip Taylor and Jerry Stiller had like a child. Cameron Mitchell. That's Cameron his name. Mitchell, yes. He's acted since uh, World War II. And he decided to do this movie, which is cool. Uh, he has probably the funniest scene in the entire movie. Oh, where God. He, him and Mitchell, Michelson, Mitchelson, they, they, um, they finally meet or whatever. <laughs> like it was the culmination, but it wasn't. Uh, they meet... And the entire time, Cameron Mitchell has the sun in his eyes, and he's just squinting, like, what? You, like, you evil man! He's like, you're evil! And it's, and it's just like the entire time you can see him going like, David, can we maybe shoot this where the sun's not in my eyes? Please! I cannot see a goddamn thing! Oh, shit. I'm just like, oh. It's like, are you, what was it that he said to the soldier at one point? Oh, no, 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 it was like, are you, are you uh, what was it? Are you a hero or are you not? Oh, it was, it was like, are you good or bad? Like, are you good or bad? Are, are, are you good or bad? And he's like, are, are, you, are you on the good side or the bad side? That's, that's like, it. Are you on the good side or the bad side? And he's it's like, like, I'm good. You're a liar. You're a liar. <laughs> Boom. So, that, that was actually the best line. And that was one of the funniest damn lines. And we, like, I love this guy. Can we follow this guy? And then it gets killed. Yeah, it, immediately following that. Yeah. It's like, eh, did. It's like, oh. And there's random shots they throw in. The editing is Odd choices with the editing. And then he's like, he's like, that's a great shot. That's a great shot. And then crotch. And there's a shot of, like, uh, <laughs> them opening the door to capture the wife. But then they just cut to them taking the wife to Hogan. And you're like... That could have been... You could just c cut to that. And then you get to the weird... It's like, it's like, it's 75... It's like, it was like, where are we? 75 miles south of Los Angeles. It's like, okay, but where the hell did you live? So and we then, don't... You, you could have been, like, 30 miles north, you know... East of Los Angeles. Or and then you get this whole, like, <laughs> this weird rape scene, and you're just like, oh, you could just took this out of the movie. And because it, it, this, this is, uh, this is just. Doesn't age well. It doesn't one. age well. It, it's got a horrible ending. It's just like, th this is not a happy ending movie at all. Oh, but we forgot the kicker, because in the middle of the movie, I don't remember the, the, the Blu ray cases, but in the middle of the movie, if you look on the back, you see that the first name is uh, the blah blah Hogan, uh, yeah. President Hogan. There you go. Not uh, President Hogan, Colonel Hogan. Colonel Hogan, whatever. The private Hogan, whatever. Yeah. It says David Campbell is his name, and it says Deadliest Prey. Yes, which is the sequel to this movie. And the Satan Ted Priors also says Deadliest Prey, so it has the sequel in the summary. Yes. So and, and both the these the, characters. Uh, are gonna are in the sequel, so spoiler. I guess we want to watch this movie. We, we watched it. Um, so at some point, it the also sequel had... is gonna be popping up in a future episode because we're gonna have to see how this story plays. It also it made like because the movie we watched before this was Home Alone because we're filming this a little after Christmas and <laughs> that it was the most boring set trap settings I've ever seen. I did not need to see Ted Pryor slowly tie it's like, a tripwire onto like, a tree. I did not pass Boy Scouts, so it's like I am just learning. I'm I'm using my bow lines for tying my shoes. That's basically the level of knots he is using is tying his shoes. Yeah, like, and the thing about the movie is it's it's it takes a while. Like, it gets boring after a while. And it's well, like it's action good. scenes, action but, scenes, but, but, action scenes. But then they do something. Like, then they do something different. Like, oh, we're gonna put the grenade pillow. Like, oh, cool, that's cool. And then, like, the whole arm chopping. They, they add little things to change it up from the general yeah. stabbing. Stab in the throat. Stab in the chest. Shot in the back. A grenade fall. Let's not talk about how many times 
A grenade hits the ground and someone falls over. Oh yeah. I mean the the damage from the from the grenades. Ted and the Pryor, George, Ted Pryor fell so many times via grenade. Also that great bazooka shot. Oh yeah, like four people just going like ah and fell and they're dead. It's just like um no. That's, oh, let's not forget about the rocks. He just throws the rocks and oh yeah, he knocked out. He, he he caused an avalanche of rocks. It's like oh, oh it's a good thing they had this thirty huge boulders up here. I yeah. say huge boulders. They were probably this big around each one. But still, good thing they were stacked at the top of this hill. Oh, and let's not forget the um, uh, the great weird. It's a, in sort of kind of the beginning of the movie, like the, after the first act. I say that's this. The, I guess this is the first end of the first act. <laughs> when he's wandering around the woods with a broken arm, he's like ah ah, and just showing off his pec muscle pretty much. And then he oh, he's showing off his he, pec oil muscle. And then he eats the worm, and you're like, well, we could do we need this shot? Well, no. First, he had to spit in his hand to lube up the worm. Like it's like it's, it's like you're, it's like you, they just showed you walking like ten feet from well, the I water. You could have just use the water. It's it's a it's a freshwater hold, lake. Hold on, hon. Why do you have to lube the worm? I think he was when just, he puts it in his mouth. His mouth is already full of spit, which would lube it up, right? Or in all honesty, it. it's in all honesty. I think he was trying to supposed to be removing the um, dirt from the innards of the worm. But in all honesty. You didn't have to spit. You could have just you're gone like this. A, you're still eating a worm. Well, I'm just removing all the dirt from the insides. In all honesty, he didn't need to spit in his hand twice. And then you had a great that great scene where you're like. And then he lunged on top of a mouse, like yeah. a mountain lion. And then the, hill, then the hillbillies caught him, and that was weird. Like, uh, well, th then it almost turned that, into you know deliverance. Remember that night scene that we thought was a night scene, and, and then it just, tent, and it was actually a day scene. Oh yeah, like, wait, what? What? Wait, when, uh, 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 that's because uh, they did top boy punches the guy. Like, well, that's because it be, that's because they didn't have their light setting on their camera correctly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, this movie we got this. This is the Blu-ray version. This movie was definitely not uh, taken from the original. Oh, original. it says something like uh, P A L Beta H P or something like yeah, that. So, so I think that's a Beta Max. Yeah, basically. because the audio transfer transfer is bad. They have not listened to dubbed prey, so I don't know what that what that would be. But the audio transfer isn't that great. It's obvious that this was almost kind of ripped off of V. I think it was ripped off of VHS. You can see like the like a little VHS. Oh yeah, the VHS uh, like uh, poof, yeah, like every once in a while. Yeah, and um, yeah, I guess it was a good transfer for what it was. I, I don't mean, know. It, it could be. Worth, I was watching one the other day. It was a VHS transfer. It was a Rift Tracks and a splice of a pepperoni pizza popped up. <laughs> right in the middle of the movie, there was no pizza in the whole film. It was what? Pepperoni pizza. Out of the fucking blue. Um, so yeah. it, could be, it could have been that bad. Anyways, uh, back to this film. <laughs> uh, was this an awful movie? No. It was, it was generally fun. It, it was, was, was kind of long. It was, a it, it was a David Pryor film. David been. Pryor films are not, as I, as I describe them, they're not inherently bad. They follow a pattern. They are kind of just... They're, for the most part, fairly original films. They are not bad films, but they are really out there. I'll give, the, I'll give, I'll give Ted Pryor credit. I'm surprised he didn't hit... Um, I'm surprised David. I'm surprised Ted Pryor didn't break an ankle running around no, the no, forest. I'm surprised he didn't hit big because look at all his action stars. They're not great actors, and Ted oh, no. Pryor is you know his personality. He has a personality of a, a block of wood, but <laughs> for his build and how he was doing those stunts, yeah, sure they weren't the greatest stunts. He but he was he was I mean, doing. He did, he did jump off that tank. He did jump off four feet. Off that tank. Well, you you saw him. He was ready to jump off the top. So you can imagine David Pryor from the side. He's like, don't do it. This is day two. We don't need you breaking something. And he's like, he, oh, he's OG. Man. He's OG parkour. Um, but basically, you know, he had. He, I feel like he could have been a big star if he got on. If 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 he didn't do so many David Pryor films yes. earlier in his career, he I probably mean, could have done if more. Fucking, if, if fucking Steven Seagal can have movies, and he's just a terrible actor all around. Yes, but Steven Seagal it just uses the kung fu. I guess, and Jean Claude Van, I'm not gonna knock on Jean Claude Van Damme, but you know, what I mean, like, he didn't have the biggest personality in the world. I mean, I, I think Ted Pryor is he still alive? 
Yeah. Okay. I know David passed away sadly a couple years yeah, ago. Yeah, he passed away in yeah. 2015. A couple years ago. Um, but Ted's still acting. Uh, so he's still is doing Is he still this. as ripped? I guess we'll have to look at Deadliest Prey to see how ripped oh, he was in that. fuck, yeah. Because he's still, I'm a guarantee you, he's still shirtless in that. And that movie's only five years old. Oh, my God. Yeah, he was very shirtless in this movie. He was just running around and, you know, not even thigh-high. They were basically crotch-high jean shorts. Oh, yeah. And so I, was, I kept joking around. It's like, oh, hon, I think you're wearing my jean shorts. It's okay, you're wearing my muscle shirt. <laughs> yeah, and it's just like this movie had no it had no character it had no character names, um, but except I mean, for his Danton. If <laughs> I had to give this movie out of five pizza slices, I'd give it a. I gi three, I'd give it a three. I I'd give it a three pizza slices out of five. Uh, yeah, like I enjoyed this movie. That was fun. I thought it was a little fun and, movie. And for it David got boring Pri at times. And but for David Pryor films, I'd still give it three. We. We cracked, we laughed a lot in this movie, oh, yeah. I thought. It was I, definitely I, it, entertaining. Yeah. But. Uh, I'll never forget the squinting scene. It oh, the squinting scene, time. it just, his his line is like, you're a liar. Oh my God, he was the star. Cameron Mitchell was the star. <laughs> There's a reason why he's a well-known actor. I, got, I didn't know who he was before this movie. But apparently he's a well-known actor. He's been, oh, he, he's been, he's been yeah, 250 projects. Yeah, like, I, 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 I can I can. A understand. lot of horror stuff, a lot of sci-fi, westerns. All that kind of yeah. stuff. I understand, so I, I'm down with that. I like that. I like him. Um, but yeah, um, also, I don't know what else to say about this movie. I guess the only thing you can do. Uh, before that, before we <laughs> really close this out, uh, leave suggestions. Do you like this video? What can we improve on and stuff like that? Please comment down below. Uh, this is you know, this is our first episode, and we are working through the kinks, and we'll, we'll make some changes here and there. Um, so let us know in the comment section below what other movies should we add. Uh, right now we're doing whatever Gary has on his walls, which is a whole wall of stuff. Oh yeah, I've yeah. got and 1100 I, on my selection. I think you've I got another hundred. 300 or 400 on yours. Yeah, and um, we, also, but we also got stuff that's going to be on Amazon, Netflix, Hulu, yeah. anything we can get legally. We're yes. not going to. We're, 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 we're not. We're not pirate people. We're, we're not, not going to be torrenting. We're not going to be no. pirating anything for yes. this. This is all going to be stuff you can buy or watch online. Yes. So. Um, also, if it's available on YouTube and stuff like that. Um, if it's out of print or whatever. But yeah, if it's an out of print thing, that's yeah. one thing. Yeah. We're not going to be watching like Dawn of the Dead on there. Something like that. Yeah. No. We're not. <laughs> um, but basically, let, let, give us suggestions of movies we probably never heard of. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know we're gonna pick them out of a hat. So there's a chance we might pull it. It's, we're gonna and if you suggest it, we'll put your name on the slip of paper. Yes. So then we'll be like, say yes. your name on it. Uh, let us know in the comments section below. Right now we're doing this annual. We're doing it annually. We're doing this <laughs> monthly. <laughs> monthly. If this becomes more of a thing, then we'll do it more often. Yeah. But yeah, and you know, it's just gonna be us. Us two for right now. We might Scott add more might people. Join in, yeah. You know, it matters on that. But uh, so, I guess that's about it. But before we close. There's one scene in this movie that was reminiscent of another movie. That was, you know, what came did, out the uh, same year. Yes. Five months before this movie was released. Yes. But we could not tell you which movie was filmed first. I feel like, uh, my theory on this is, I feel like they saw the movie, and they're like, we got to do like a, a, a reshot, or a reshoot it. Yeah. And do the shot. I so feel I think like it's only, added in post. I feel like we, the only person that would know this for sure that we could possibly find would be Ted. Yes. So and Ted Pryor's watch us. Please let us know. Yes. I I'm mean, curious. Because nothing online we could tell would be like, how much was the budget of this film? Could not find it. Yes. When were the filming dates? There's a could lot. Could not of, find it. It's like. There's a lot of tanks in this movie. I was like, how much budget do they have? I think for that, they could. Well, probably, they didn't use the tank. They well, they, fire if, it. But also, if they. Uh, how they, many shots were made in this movie? <laughs> how many you know, bullets were used? You know, how many? I want to know. Uh, they could also know somebody that works yeah. for, at that thing and probably have like two days and film but there. what we want to know is <laughs> when Ted Pryor and friend uh, meet up and they decide they're going to team up and then they do the handshake, which is very reminiscent of Predator oh, yes. handshake. That's what we're alluding to is... Was that what, came, what originally came first? The chicken or the egg? The predator or deadly prey? 
What, which Deadly of these, Predator. Yes. Which came first, Deadly Prey or Predator? Yeah. With this particular famous yes. handshake. Are you ready, Wade? Yes. You son of a bitch. <laughs>